Hey guys, Craig Dweller here. I'm off on a Friday afternoon after work on a kind of an impromptu hike overnighter. Got a chance to get up here to Western Mass at the, uh, well I'm out in the Berkshire Mountains in uh, Western Mass. Gonna hike up about, I don't know, maybe six, seven miles hopefully tonight. Um, find a cool place to camp. Get up tomorrow, hike out, and go home. So yeah, take advantage of the time when you have it. And uh, that's what I'm doing. All right. Hey guys, figured I'd choose some video before it gets too dark. Sun's setting really fast. So I'm at a, um, a little camping area. It's called uh, Wilbur's Clearing. And there's a shelter with about 10 people having a really good time over there. Over that way. And then there's three uh, AT, AT through hikers right there. There's a tent platform over there. But I... Didn't feel like screwing around my uh, non-freestanding tent on it. So I moved over here, off into the woods a little bit, found this little area, I'm trying to keep my voice down. But yeah, it's gonna be my setup for tonight, the Lunar Solo. I got a, um, this time I'm going over the 20, 25 degree down bag, Millet down bag in there. And that's my setup. Yeah, not supposed to rain. Beautiful forest out here. Just gorgeous. Yeah, so I'm not going to have a fire or anything. I'm trying to be kind of stealthy over here. I did bring my chair, though. I'll probably set that up and make a little something to eat, maybe. I'll, I'll let you know.
Good morning. Slept really good. Slept really good. So I'm using this, um, I picked up this, um, Tom shoe, 750 milliliter titanium pot with this grab handle. It's pretty cool for picking it off a of fire or, you know, the canister stove. I had to switch canisters. I ran out with that first canister I had. But yeah, this is really nice. Um, it's, it's, uh, Virtually the same as the uh, Tokes 750. The handles are identical. The, the bale handles are identical. And it was like uh, $19 on eBay. Comes with a nice lid. Sits on it really good. Doesn't wiggle around. So yeah. Works out pretty good. It's got measuring increments on the inside. You know, milliliters and ounces. So anyway, I just wanted to show that. I've been using it for off and on on day hikes for, I don't know, a month now. It's working out really good. All right. Camp's all picked up, packed up. No trace. Just a dry spot where the tent was. Packs all loaded. Got like six and a half miles to get out of here. Real calm, super muggy morning for late August up here in the Berkshires. All right. So one other thing I wanted to <clears throat> mention is um, I'm, I've been trying out these new shoes. They're the, uh, Solomon X Ultra mid-cut um, hiking boots or shoes and um, so far I'm really liking them they don't weigh a whole lot more than my regular trail runners like my the like, uh, Sportiva Ultra Raptors they weigh virtually the same and they're mid-cut a um, little more ankle support not a ton but I like because it keeps a lot of debris out and I don't have to wear gaiters and um, or at least not yet anyway I've only got probably 15 miles on them but yeah, super lightweight, and they're not the Gore-Tex model. Um, I'm not a big fan of Gore-Tex footwear in the sense that, you know, once it's wet, it stays wet for a while, having had Gore-Tex leather hikers, and I still have them. But yeah, these are super breathable. They're all mesh, nice toe cap. I'll probably do a review more in depth, I guess, at some point. I just want to point those out. So far, super happy with them. Again, Solomon X-Ultra uh, mid-cut hiking shoe. I would highly recommend them so far. Again, based on, you know, not many miles, but super, super comfortable and lightweight. All right. I'll be coming down this pretty steep incline on the side of this, uh, this mountain here. Giant old growth trees. And uh, you can see how steep it is. I, mean, I don't know if you can hear the, the brook down there, but it's way down there. There you go. I gotta go down there, cross that, and then head up another two or three of these gullies. Canyons, I guess you'd call them, out west. But it's, um, the sun hasn't really gotten up to a point where it's lighting up in here, so it's pretty dark. It's about 7.30 a.m., and it's almost dark in here.
here's that stream I was talking about from from up there. All right, little update, upcoming events. In the uh, beginning of October, <clears throat> I'll be heading out to California, <coughs> excuse me, to meet up with uh, Faro. His name is Alan, his channel is Faro, and I, I, I believe he was the first person I ever subscribed to on YouTube. And um, he's been talking about maybe coming out east to hike, and I've been talking about trying to get out there to hike, and finally gonna make it happen. Um, like I said, beginning of October, I'm super excited. He's got some hikes planned, and um, I think there's some other people gonna be joining up with us, which is cool. I gotta be careful going down here, it's rather steep. Um, yeah, I'm super stoked. I'll be flying out there. He's actually offered to pick me up at the airport, which is cool as hell. Really appreciate that. And um, yeah, we're gonna do a bunch of different hikes, see some sights. That is, unless I don't fall off of this yikes and um, yeah so beginning of October California bound San Gabriel Mountains a lot of fun really looking forward to it I've hiked in the Sierras up around uh, north of Yosemite in the Hoover Wilderness uh, about you know, five years ago the San Gabriel's if you check out Alan's channel super different atmosphere a lot of rocks beautiful trees scree just beautiful sights different different environment altogether than uh, the uh, <coughs> Sierras we were in back then. But um, yeah, the San Gabriel Mountains, super excited. I'll keep you posted and updated, of course. And uh, again, thank you, Alan. Really look forward to meeting you in person and whoever else is gonna meet up with us. Um, I'm really stoked. All right, folks. Look at this. There's not much more can be scratched out of that old bastard. Man, oh man. Something's been picking away at grubs or four grubs, I guess, or bugs. That was a big tree. Looks like oak. Man. Almost out. Nice. <laughs> 